Welcome to another episode of Fort Bend Mathematics Tutoring. Take a moment to soothe your nerves. Remember, these is just numbers. They can't hurt nobody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today's tutorial is going to be about converting decimals to fractions. All right, let's start out with the place value. So here, when I'm dealing with place value, check out this number here. We have 34 and 98,765 hundred thousands. And the bottom line is, I want you to be aware of the place value of each of these digits. The three is in the tens place, the four is in the ones place, then you have your decimal, and then after that, to the right of the decimal, that first place value is called the tenths place. Then your eight is in the hundredths place, your seven is in the thousandths place, the six is in the ten thousandths place, and then finally the five is in the hundred thousandths place. So these are your place values, and of course it continues in either direction, but these are the ones that you'll see often in problems in your math classes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let us continue here to our first problem. Let's check it out. And number one, I have six tenths, and remember, one place to the right of the decimal is the tenths place. So I'm going to start by placing the number six over 10 and then simplifying it. Remember all fractions must be reduced. It must be simplified. And I know that I have 6 and 10 that are both divisible by 2 and then I'll be simplifying this. I can reduce both the 6 and the 10 by 2. Alright, so 6 divided by 2 gives me 3 and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my answer here is 3 fifths. So 6 tenths written as a fraction is 3 fifths. And that's the answer to the problem number 1 ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Let's continue on. Problem number two. In problem number two, I have 45 hundredths. Remember, I'm looking at the smallest place value here, and that's going to be the hundredths place, two places from the decimal. So I'm going to start by placing 45 over 100. And we can simplify this by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5. So let's do that. We have 45 divided by 5, which is 9, and then 100 divided by 5 is 20. And 9 20 this can't be reduced any further, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to problem number 2. That's it. You got it. Moving on. Next problem coming up. In problem number three, we have seven and three tenths. Your smallest place value is the tenths place. So we're going to be placing 73 over 10, just like that. Now notice, ladies and gentlemen, that you do have an improper fraction, so this could be converted into a mixed number if you wished, or you can leave it in fraction notation. So in fraction notation, it would remain as 73 tenths, or as a mixed number, you would write it as 7 being the whole number, and then you have 3 tenths, so that's written as 3 tenths. So depending on the question, if they wanted you to write it as a fraction, it would be 73 tenths as an improper fraction, or you could write this result as a mixed number as 7 and 3 tenths. So either way would be correct depending on the question. So ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm, that's problem number three. Let's continue on here. Continue on to our next problem. And number four, we have 79 thousandths. I know I'm dealing with the thousandths place because the nine is three places to the right of the decimal. So that means that writing this as a fraction, I will place 79 over that smallest place value. So it's going to be over 1,000. Okay? And this is going to be the answer to problem number four. That's it. You can't simplify that any further. So 79 thousandths is the result done and done ladies and gentlemen all right so we're moving on and moving on to problem number five now in number five we have negative four and three ten thousandths my smallest place value is the ten thousandths place that's four places to the right of the decimal so anytime you're starting out with a negative value you're going to end up with a negative value so i'm going to start out knowing that my answer has to be negative then in fraction notation you'll simply place forty thousand three over ten thousand so this is going to be your answer in fraction notation. If you're requested to write your result as a mixed number, you'll start off knowing that your result will be negative, and the whole number part of your result is going to be 4. That's going to be that value to the left of the decimal there. Then, because the 3 is in the ten thousandths place, you'll be placing 3 over 10,000, and this will be your result. That's it. So here we have fraction notation in the negative 40,000, 3 ten thousandths, and you'll also have the mixed number written as negative 4 and 3 ten thousandths, which are the answers to problem number 5, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. All right, moving on. Problem number 6. 
In problem number six, you have 17 and 15 thousandths. That's right. The smallest place value is the thousandths place, three places to the right of the decimal. To write this in fraction notation, we have a positive number, so our answer will be positive, and we'll have the 17,015 in the numerator over your place value, the smallest place value, which is the thousandths place. So you'll just place that over 1,000, just like that. You should note that the numerator has 5 as the last digit in the numerator, which means that we can simplify this further. That's right. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 5. Okay, so the denominator is easy. We know that 1,000 divided by 5 is going to be 200. And then the numerator, we'll be dividing that by 5. So dividing the numerator by 5, you'll end up with 3,000. 403 as your final result. So this is going to be the fraction notation of 17 and 15 thousandths, just like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a box around that for you, okay? Put a red box because that's how I roll with the red boxes, man. All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll look at the mixed number result. As a mixed number, we would start out knowing that our whole number is 17. So I have 17 as my whole number, and then from there, I know that I'll have 15 over 1,000 because, once again, that 5 is in the thousandths place. So this is going to be 15 over 1,000. From there, you're still going to simplify your result here. So I'm going to reduce both the numerator and the denominator by 5. This gives me a result that will be 17 and 3 two hundredths and this is going to be the result here all right that's my answer as a mixed number and so here we have our result for problem number six and fraction notation will end up with three thousand four hundred three two hundredths and you end up with seventeen and three two hundredths as your mixed number all right ladies and gentlemen well that does it for converting decimals to fractions this is mr witt with fort bend tutoring and as always please rate comment and subscribe peace we certainly hope you enjoyed today's mathematic presentations. Did you learn anything? Do you need to review your notes? Take a deep breath and congratulate yourself. I am learning mathematicals. <laughs>